What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See lights like a beach if you find the same. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of RX Bars, Atari, P90X, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Uh, especially check out the episode with Noah Alper. Um, basically, he tells a story of how he sold his chain of bagel stores to Einstein Bagels for $100 million. But the best parts of the story, Anthony, are not that, in my opinion. It's he shares the businesses that didn't work. So that he was, you know, buying and selling religious tchotchkes and selling them out of the back of his car and the business did horribly. And it was good to see his iterations of how he came to the bagel stores. Um, today's episode is brought to you by Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Our mission is to connect you with your best referral partners and customers. Uh, we do it in three ways. A done-for-you media, where we help you completely run your and launch your own podcast get it published across 11 different channels, blog posts. I personally credit podcasting as the single best thing I've done for my business and my life, allowed me to form amazing relationship. Um, And the second is our done for you lead generation where we manually send consistent flow of customized outreach messages to your ideal clients and referral sources. We also do done for you VIP events for software companies and conferences. We may or may not have showed up in Elvis costumes at one of them. Um, so I am very excited for today's guest, long awaited. Today we have Anthony Constantino, the co-founder of Sticker Mule. It's one of the most popular custom sticker websites with printing operations in the United States and Europe. Sticker Mule is the easiest and fastest way to buy custom printed products. You can order in simply 60 seconds. They turn your design or illustrations into custom stickers, magnets, buttons, labels, and packaging in a few days makes it look really professional. Their customers have included companies you may have heard of, Amazon, Nike, Google, Facebook, Netflix, and many more. And I'm going to have them show a few of them, but they've given me um, the authority to give us amazing deal, which may or may not be available when you go to this page. So the amazing deal is 10 custom stickers for a dollar. That doesn't even pay for shipping, by the way, just a dollar. Typically, it's $20. So if you go to stickermule.com slash inspired, you know, Anthony, I've announced this, you know, before, you know, after I introduce the guest and the person who's the guest is writing it down because they obviously are <laughs> going to order the stickers. And I said, listen, if you go to the site and it, you know, this goes viral and they can't, you know, fulfill on all of them because they just it it's a loss leader for them that they know what i tell people is you know they know when you get the stickers you're going to order more because they're amazing products it may be (laughs) stickers maybe other things so they hook you with that because they know you'll love it and you'll go back for more but if you go to the site and we will have something amazing for you if that dollar for 10 stickers is is not there anymore so anthony (laughs) thanks for joining me so Anthony, what kept you going? So thirty matches, a record of losing in in instantaneously under a minute. Yeah. Why did you continue? I, I mean, know, at I that point, did you love it, or what? What, did, what was it about it? Oh, I, just, I just didn't want to be a quitter. I mean, I saw a lot of people quitting wrestling. We had a tough coach. A different. I had two different coaches. One was less easy to work with than the other, and a lot of people quit. We we had to run five miles a day. It was it's not an easy sport. It's not a oh, fun totally. sport. You know. I remember you know, playing basketball and then the wrestling practice looked grueling. I'm, I was thinking, thank God I'm not in wrestling right now. Yeah, it's not a fun sport. I, Why'd I just, you continue? I just didn't, I didn't want to quit. So you knew you were going to stick it out till all four years. I don't know if I'm, I don't know what I thought. I just didn't, I just didn't want, I mean, I saw a lot of people quit. And I just didn't want to be one of those people that quit. I don't know. <laughs> you know I eventually just, started developing friends and whatnot, but. I don't know. I don't know why I stuck with it. I was, I was, I, I was not good until my last year. What caused you to improve? Was it extra time? It was, was just it mindset. A, no, was it? it was. It was just a change in mindset because, and I, I, I started, you know, interacting with high school wrestlers again. At the high school level, you really just don't understand. I didn't understand the extent to which mindset is a difference. Like no one's, 
that good at high school wrestling. It's like the mind because you're you're losing seven to four. I mean, as you start getting better, like okay, you lose seven to four. That's you, your attitude can make or break that three points easily. Hmm. But when you're a kid, you don't know that. When I first started wrestling, I was I was terrible, and I was, was like the best kid on the team. It's a big guy. He was like you know heavyweight and tough guy, and everyone thought he was you know tough guy and football player too. And he, he said he's he's told me he said look the sport's ninety percent mental, ten percent physical, and I'm like yeah you're just saying that because you got the muscles. You're right. just trying to make me feel good. But it actually turned out it is true. I just I just decided. I remember I just decided I didn't want to lose anymore, and I just didn't lose anymore. Amen. You, you go I back I in the final. You go back and speak to the students. You've gone back and spoke. Yeah. What did you yeah. What did you tell them? I think I you know I talked to them about about this. Like you got to set your you know I told them that I'm not trying to remember what you know but basically I what I told them that they could relate. Some of the things they're doing in school now, they don't understand how it relates later in life. And I was a bad student, but like I learned a lot of things in, in high school that had nothing to do with like classwork. Like you can apply this idea of you know, who you measure yourself against with anything. I said, you could, you could apply it with, with uh, video games. I mean, there's kids that are outstanding at video games. And if you can learn how to become an outstanding, like video gamer, you could learn how to become an outstanding anything. It's just, you, but you have to learn the process of, of, of setting your sights high and doing it. So it doesn't need to be academics that you're learning in school. It could be, it could be anything. Yeah. you know, it was wrestling could be track and field could be, chess could be golf could be yeah. whatever you know, whatever you're into what do you do now to keep the mindset strong for business and the goals strong do you talk to certain mentors do you listen to certain books what what kind of things do you do to keep sharp mentally mm, I, I, can't, I can't say i do that much like what yeah. motivates you you know if you see amazon topping you know best companies does that motivate you to say like how can we get to that point or I, I'm motivated a lot by my coworkers. You know, we have awesome people. We have a lot of fun together, and and we've been able to bring in a lot of people. You know, we brought we built a team up a lot of, over the years. I've got my core people I started with, but they love all the new people that have joined. They're, they they everyone is really excited. I think it's been really fun over the years to bring in new people and make new friends and stuff like that. And the core my like my core group that I, I hang out with, they want to see the company keep growing. I think they they probably motivate me more than anything because if they didn't if they weren't excited i don't think i would be excited yeah you know from the early customer with github um what's been another favorite fun story of how you got a customer because you you have premium big name customers i'm sure you have a lot of small mom pop customers and it ranges but you know we're talking amazon nike google is there a favorite story that sticks out of how you you know some randomness of how you acquired and got one of these orders from from one of these companies unfortunately no no i mean after uh, we haven't done acquisition of individual customers it's just i focused on experience just i focused on experience and marketing after that i didn't focus on going after customers um you know we've had plenty of fun stories uh you know with us you know traveling and being crazy and, and whatnot you know we, we have a lot of fun together um but but yeah, no, we, we haven't had any interesting, you know, acquisition stories since then, mainly because it's just, we haven't focused on acquiring individual customers. Yeah. You know, any interesting stories of actual goods, like you mentioned the guy in prison, any interesting companies order packaging or buttons or labels that you're like, why are they ordering this stuff? <laughs> like random company. It's the ones that come to mind, I probably shouldn't say because they're not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> okay i figure that's why i asked <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. N- not appropriate uh it's only like i look at them i'm like what is, I, 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 okay what is this i couldn't like figure out what it is and like google is like early on it's like, like, like a swingers club like, oh okay. <laughs> maybe it's better it wasn't you, anything you inappropriate yeah i gotcha yeah. um so anthony first of all thank you i always ask this um because it's Inspired Insider, I always ask, one, what's been a low moment um, that you pushed through? And then on the flip side, what's been a proud moment that you are especially, you know, from, from the journey um, you're proud of? What's been a low moment that you had to push through? Uh, 
I'll say, you know, probably the worst moment. There was a point, you know, I, I say you kind of go in waves in business where your job should be easy because if it's hard, you know, you, you're probably not going to be able to succeed for very long. So, yeah, but every now and then, you know, it's going to get hard because you're taking on new challenges and you should be able to adjust. But there was a point when we were growing quickly and, you know, I didn't, I had never built up an executive team before. And, you know, I just didn't really know how to go about doing that. And I was like, all right, well, now we're getting to a point where I need somebody in charge of manufacturing. You know, I, I, I ran manufacturing, I ran customer service and I ran a lot of stuff. I was like, all right, we need somebody in charge of manufacturing, finance, marketing, you know, and I, I built out a whole executive team and it was very stressful. I just didn't feel like it was going really well. And, and, uh, I started talking with some of the people here that I had known for a while about the people that we put into place. And they didn't really know either. I don't think what to do because, you know, none of us had ever built an organization before. And they were like, yeah, I see your concerns, but you know, we need people to do these jobs. And I don't know. One day I just said, no, this isn't, this isn't right. And I, 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 I terminated half the executive team mm. in, in a week and people were, you know, and people were freaked out. <laughs> it didn't feel right to you. Something didn't feel right. It didn't feel right. And, and people, I don't think I had, anyone that really backed me on that decision but a month later everyone thought it was you know it was great i was able to i was able to take actually some people that we had brought in i had brought in people and and i was able to give their jobs to people that have been here since day one so if you look at our executive team now it's all people that have been here since day one that have scaled and they're they're amazing like our our vp of fine of uh, hr has been with us since day one our vp of finance has been with us since day one our head of software has been with us since day one they grew internally yeah, I'm currently yep. I'm currently overseeing manufacturing. I've obviously been here since the beginning. Um, we have plant man, a plant manager that's been with us since very early. She's she's um you know started uh, actually in another part of the company and she's now our plant manager. She does an outstanding job. And yeah, that was that was a hard decision to make because I, I pulled people in and, and I said like pull people in. I used money to entice them to join us and I just said the people I picked weren't the right ones and and uh, yeah. Yeah, that was that was most stressful. It's tough. It goes back to what you're saying with kind of being a manager. It's like really difficult to terminate someone. You know what I mean? If it's not, yeah, I think out. it's worth telling that story because a lot of people, I think, will if they're in growing companies or even whatever smaller companies, they feel this pressure to bring in experienced management, um, and that's not always the right move because I don't think any of these jobs are all that hard. Like you, you know, it's most jobs aren't that hard. You just have to. I don't know. Use, use common sense, but uh, you know these jobs aren't that hard. You just have to have a desire to do them. Use common sense and have a good attitude that and willingness to learn. Um, what, so, what about yeah. on the flip side? Uh, proud moment. I mean, you've been doing this for for many years now, and you started it with you know with nothing on a whim, an idea. Um, what's been a proud moment? I think. Besides the billboard, and there's flip coin, you know, on the flip coin, and on the flip, yeah. on the flip side, um, you know, making hiring mistakes sucked, you know, and, and fixing that was very stressful, especially when I made like executive level hiring mistakes. But uh, uh, you know, problem was like I've, I've had to do a lot of recruiting too, like early on, like every CEO is a co- growing company, you got to get talent, and it, it's been really rewarding for me to be able to go and connect with people and to convince them to join us. Like I had to convince a lot of people to join us that had good jobs. Um, mm. You know, so I think, you know, even calling the shots So you know, I got our original developer, I got him to, you know, he, he, he wanted to leave his job, but you know, I, I got that situation sorted out. Yeah. And yeah, we, I've, I've, we've been able to bring in a lot of great talent. It's always fun. I have, you know, amazing friendships because of that. Like I have friends in Italy now because of, you know, a live chat conversation. I have a ton of friends in Italy now because that's random so, yeah i love yeah. it so that's what it's, it's basically putting that's, putting that rock star team together makes you proud sounds like i mean the fact that i get to hang out with these people all the time you know the fact that i was able to convince them to join and that they come in and say that they you know a lot of them say it's the best decision they ever made so i mean i think that's you know somebody says that <laughs> you know. totally well, Anthony, thank you. I want to be the first one to thank you. This is fantastic. I love hearing your stories. I love that. I mean, I don't love that you lost 30 matches in a row, but I love the story. You know what I mean? And the persistence behind it. Um, and so everyone should check out Sticker Mule. More importantly, check out stickermule.com slash inspired. And if it's still available, you get 10 custom stickers for a dollar. I mean, I don't even know what you can get for a dollar these days anyway. So <laughs> 10 custom stickers. Kidding. You can't beat that. 
You can't even get a soda for a dollar anymore. Exactly. So, and it's your own company logo that will look nice on a computer or wall or wherever you want to put it. So, Anthony, thank you for taking the time. I appreciate it. And thanks, Kieran, for putting it together. Thanks. A lot of fun. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the same.